Hey, what's going on guys? Chapruzik here, back again for another Need to Know's video. It's been about a week, but I'm back. Uh, first thing I've got is, we know the Destiny game came out on the 9th, which was just a few days ago, and it's okay, I'd say. It's not the best thing ever. It's kind of a disappointment to all the hype that people put around it. Um, but instead of patching the game a few days after it comes out, a bunch of you decided to patch it with the update that you have to get with the Xbox when you turn it back on, and um, when you have to install the game, they just intertwined it, so you update it, and you install it at the same exact time, so you save time, and you don't have to not play to download an update after you've been playing for a couple days, which is nice. Um, so they just talk about what the differences are from the beta to now with the classes, um, the weapons, the vehicles, the crucible, which is the PvP side of Destiny, the maps, uh, different activities like strikes, raids, uh, the whole entire world when you're just patrolling uh, worlds, and a bunch of other stuff. So if you want to check out, check that out. Um, just look down below, and it'll be in the description. Uh, next thing. If you want any uh, cool DLC for your Titan or your Warlock or your Hunter, I'll put this in the description as well. Uh, TeamBeyond.net has about 29 different uh, things that you can download here. There's 12 Emblem and Shader Codes and then there's 17 Grimmer Codes for Armor or a bunch of other random stuff. So that's that. And then the last thing to talk about with Destiny is um, we've got some upcoming Destiny events and game modes. Um, so let's see what we got here. So the first thing is Salvage, which is this weekend. It came out yesterday and I've played it. It's uh, basically a 3 versus 3 competitive uh, match where off the start, about 30 seconds after the game starts, a little point, little area that you have to sit in for uh, about a minute or something to get it all the way up to 100%. Um, spawns, and after you get that, you have to protect it. I think they call it a a uh, beacon or a probe or something like that and let's see it's let's see guardians fight to claim and uh, sabotage uh, relics okay so it's a relic so a relic spawns and you have to capture it and protect it for however long until you know it either disappears and then the next one's going to appear or the other team if they kill you and your teammates then they're going to disable it and then the next one will spawn so however many points you get for that that's how that works and then uh, whoever has uh, most points wins. So yeah, it's pretty fun. It's three versus three. I would prefer four versus four, but um, the next thing that's going to be coming out is going to be uh, in about three days on September 16th. It is the Vault of Glass. It's going to be the first raid that comes out, and it's a level 26 raid. So right now I'm at uh, level 22, so I'm going to have to grind a little bit here, um, or I'm not going to stand a chance in that raid. So... If you're lower than a level 26, I would um, advise everybody to wait until you get to at least level 26, or unless you have your friends that are level 26s, then you might have a chance of beating it with them. But each of the raids they're going to be coming out with are supposed to take hours and hours, like f three hours or something for a raid, which is crazy, like non-stop battling for three hours, that's crazy. Um, but you're going to get some awesome stuff for it. Um, Next thing is going to be coming out sometime in September. It's going to be called Combined Arms, which is um, you get to pilot the machines of war. And then the next one is a DLC for the campaign. It's called Queen's Wrath. It's a DLC um, mission where you have to do something for the Queen. And then on October, we finally get the Iron Banner, which is going to be whoever has the most um, armor or whoever has the best armor. Um, they're going to win versus the people that don't have the best armor. And that's how that's going to work. So it's going to be unbalanced multiplayer, and that's the only place that you're going to be able to go to have unbalanced multiplayer and, you know, get rewarded for having cool stuff. And then the Xbox One October update is going to be coming in, um, obviously, in October. And the September update just got released uh, not too long ago. And with the Xbox One update uh, we're gonna have a friend snap application a message snap app a achievements app a friend section and a new smart glass feature uh, improvements for TV and video you're gonna get a media player DLNA and MKV support uh, live TV trending um, Xbox one digital TV tuner stream TV to smart glass live TV mini guide one guide is gonna be in 12 new countries 
internet, TV apps, and a universal remote control in the smart glass. So if you want to check out what the description uh, is for all those, um, links are going to be in the description. Um, other things that are going to be featured, updated devices and accessories page, firmware updates, and you're going to be able to hide games and apps on your console. So when you double tap your home button on your Xbox One controller and that little tab, little side section on your right hand side of your screen pops up, uh, that's where all these applications with your friends, messages, smart glass features are going to be. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 release dates have been revealed for the PC and Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So the uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One users are going to be getting the title on November 18, 2014. And then PC users, you guys are going to have to wait until January 27, 2015 to get uh, GTA 5. And with GTA 5 coming on these next-gen uh, consoles and the PC, we're going to have new weapons, vehicles, and activities, additional wildlife, denser traffic, uh, new foliage system, enhanced damage and weather effects, and much more. And then they're going to increase it to 30-person multiplayer. So in the free roam area where everybody's doing their own thing, but they can kill each other, they can help each other out. Um, and then they can hop into missions with each other. It's going to be 30-person multiplayer. Um, which is a lot more than Destiny has, so that's really interesting. Um, and then, other than that, there's some screenshots that you can check out too, um, of people being in helicopters and cars and a bunch of cool stuff. And then the last thing is going to be uh, Strongside. If you don't know who Strongside is, he's a professional Halo player. He's been a professional Halo player since 2004, 2005. And um, he won this Halo Edition Ford truck back when they were doing the Halo 4 Global Championship qualifiers, so they were, you know, it was free to enter, all you had to do was get top 4, and all these FFAs, and you had to get on the leaderboards, and within each week, they did it like 5 or 6 times, and then, if you did, then you would be invited to the championship, which was, um, at PAX or something? It was at Anaheim, I believe, and in the Anaheim Convention Center, and, uh, that's where Ace won against Pistol in the 1v1 at the end there. And um, so Strongside didn't win the whole entire tournament, but he won this truck, which was given to the person who got the most kills or something like that, played the most. And um, they shipped out the truck to him, and now he is selling it on eBay. Uh, I think the top bid right now is $55,700. So if you want to bid on that, go for it. Um, just a little summary of what's in the of what's on the outside of the truck. It's got a it's themed out with the UNSC Halo 4 um, theme with the green and dark shade of sage on it. Um, the tires. Let's see what we got here. Uh, some more exterior eye catchers are the 17-inch Ford Racing beadlock wheels wrapped with 35 by 12.5 R17 Night Nito mud grapplers. And then inside the truck, they've got four monitors: one on the dash, uh, two. One on the back seat of the driver and one on the back seat of the passenger and then the last one's going to be on the ceiling that can uh, be pulled down by the people sitting in the back and then they are hooked up with Xboxes so you can play while you are waiting to go to your destination or whatever. Um, so yeah, if you want to bid on that, go for it. It's on eBay right now. Um, if I check for you guys right now, I think it's just going to be a few more days. Um, yeah, three days until he's going to give it to the highest bidder, and um, I don't know why he's getting rid of it, probably because he doesn't need it, it's probably worth more to him if he sells it, because it's probably a gas guzzler, so if you guys want to buy that, go for it, um, and that's going to be all the need to know news I got for you guys today, if you would like to like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, favor, that would be mo most appreciated, uh, after this, well, actually, you know what, I'm going to be streaming, so... I'm going to stream, and then after I get done streaming tonight, I'm going to upload this. So you're going to be seeing this after I'm done streaming. So um, I'll put in the link for my stream down below. I would like to put this up and then stream, but I just want to stream right now and keep on playing. Because if you guys don't know, there's... Okay, another, another thing. Another thing for Destiny. If you guys don't know, there's this guy. He is called the Agent of the Nine. He is this dark, shadowy, shadowy creature guy. He's kind of hard to miss because he's like holding on to the wall. Um, he only comes on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. He leaves on Sunday. Um, so if you're on the tower and you're going down the ramp, like you're going down, you want to talk to your mentors, you know, the three mentors that are sitting at the table. You've got the Hunter, the Warlock, and the Titan, um, 
mentors. Before you get into that room, there's this little small room, and there's two people usually in it, right? You've got the Vanguard machine robot thing who gets you cool stuff, legendary stuff for multiplayer. And there's the other guy who gives you legendary stuff too, but not as cool. And then, on the same side as the robot is at... Um, there he is, the Agent of the Nine. And he's got gold armor. He's got gold armor, gold weapons. He's got a couple other things um, for you. Like... Um, Something, I forget what it's called, but it helps your Sparrow, the vehicle that you use to get to places faster. It mo makes it move faster. And then he's got a couple other trinkets, like one um, where it replenishes your heavy ammo instantly. Uh, I'm not sure if you can use it in multiplayer or not, but it looks pretty cool. And the way that you pay for these things are very difficult to get your hands on. You have to pay with strange coins and modes of light. So one piece of armor that he has right now is um, one that you have to get encrypted or uncrypted by the um, guy that's right at the beginning of the tower on the right hand side where he gets where he um, takes all your encrypted stuff and he shows you what they are. And that is the only thing I believe he has that you have to pay with Motes of Light which you get from playing multiplayer in PvP uh, in the Crucible and then the other stuff that he has you have to pay with Strange Coins which you also get from playing the Crucible. And you get strange coins and most of light randomly. You don't really do anything special to get them. You just keep playing, and then if you get them, you get them. If you don't, then oh well. Um, so yeah, he is there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I'm working on trying to get a gold titan. It's going to be a while. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it by the time MCC comes out. But I'm going to be grinding all the way through the end of September and October. And hopefully by the time MCC rolls around, my titan will be all gold. And yeah be looking pretty cool so um yeah hope you guys like this need to know news episode and i'll catch you guys later thanks for watching